Hi guys and welcome to this uh, week's video. This <laughs> oh my brain. The subject today is how do we create, how do we become a vibrational image to peace instead of war. So I uh, I actually already started to make this recording and I talked so long, like 15 minutes, and then I thought. What? <laughs> what is this? So I'm gonna rewind it. It's gonna be sip, second, second uh, take. Um, because there's so many perceptions and I wish to share them all and yet it's all about not making it too complicated, right? So step number one, perception number one. Everything in vibration. The whole universe is built up by vibration energy and frequencies there is nothing else you can ask Nikolai Tesla or Albert Einstein or Tukak Amon or these other people they know <laughs> there only exist vibration frequencies um, so what you are is a vibration what you send out is a vibration what you do not uh, express is a vibration Everything you build up of is frequencies and vibrations. Our whole uh, universe is created that way. The three dynamics of the world is created through vibration and frequencies. Also, vibrations there are vibrating so slow that it becomes physical matter. The way that we can uh, expand through our universal experience in the three dimensions only world on Earth is emotionally expanding through um, friction. So friction between two energy forms, which is not the same. So like molecules, you have two different different molecules, you put them together, poof, you have something new. So therefore we have this uh, really beautiful things called duality on planet Earth. Good and bad, if we want to call it. And then we can spice it up with happy, sad, anxious or really excited but in the end there's just love and fear right so <laughs> what we do is we we are sent here and we are basically have this amount of free will to create a universe within the universe and then we have some outcomes which have helped us in this ego process which have brought us upon wherever we are today right I'm trying to make this simple, it's not going that well. <laughs> so, back to vibration energies. You have your blue imprint. That means that that is the person you are meant to be in this life form anyways. Um, then you have all the things that you experience in life that some of them become suppressions inside of you and therefore you can feel them in the aura. That's one, one thing. Another thing is the law of attraction. So when you are have something suppressed inside of yourself, if you are not able to look upon it, you will attract something that will allow you and help you to see that within oneself. How you respond and react when you meet this mirror is a part of your learning, but that is also a part of how we are supporting uh, the outcome of whatever is happening on our planet. So, to bring it, uh, to keep it out here, because uh, out here, uh, talking about vibration and frequencies and stuff like that, if you have a topic now, I think there is something with Iraq and Mr. Trump or something, right? So everybody have an opinion about this. And it gets tempts to get pretty spicy that uh, people are, are are getting angry, they're getting upset, they're getting in this fighting thing and they're getting it to each other. So you can basically almost not write a little bit about the subject without like a big boom of emotions and anger and hate and uh, uh, opinions of what is right and what is wrong. <laughs> So, the truth is, it doesn't matter who is right and who is wrong. If you look upon it the way I, I do, then what I see is the energy that people send out. And the frequency there lies within that. So there's a lot of anger, there's hate, there's resentment. And that is 
what is contributing to war. It's contributing to disbalance and to feed this darker side with a part of this raw reality we chose to live in. So, then we have, uh, which this is uh, pretty clear for most people, I think. <laughs> but then there is the aha. Uh -huh. So what we also have is this spiritual movement that says everything is about love, everything is about light, and um, oh, to be peace, we will create peace. Yes, but if you say I am in peace, but what you truly are are feeling angry, what you truly are are full of resentment and hate, but but you learned that you needed to say I am peace. Then you say with your mental mind, I am peace. But inside you have this suppression um, of resentment, anger, hate. It can be towards others or it can be towards yourself. So when that is suppressed inside of you, the law of attraction does so the universe sent upon you something that can reflect that, something that can be that mirror of what is suppressed within yourself. So, <laughs> that doesn't work either. That is also helping to create war. So we have a war that's very straight up, easy to see. I'm just using a symbolism now. So we have the straight up war that's easy to see. That is the boom, boom, bang. We got the tromfe, bomfe, and then we have the irike thingy and the boom, boom, bang. We can see it. Then we have the subconscious underlying sneaky one. And this is the one I'm talking about. We're talking about peace. That is when we in the social media says everything is fine, we are fighting for our country, but apparently whole of, uh, of Australia is burning. Or, huh, it's funny, people get really, really ill of eating food. Ah, let's help them with, um, with um, symptoms medications for the rest of their lives, right? So what this is, is it appears to be good but some subconsciously underlying, there is a control pattern that holds you um, stuck in something. There is not freedom because everything that is controlled is a fear of losing control and then is fear and not love. Yeah. So that was the symbolism. I hope it didn't go too fast. <laughs> so back to, back to how we create peace, how we become a vibrational mess to peace. You look yourself in the mirror. You look yourself in your mirror and you accept the who you are with whatever is within this moment. So if you are not at peace, you allow yourself to not be at peace, but look upon what it is that does so you are not in peace. We know that everything around us on the deepest level is a reflecting reflection of whatever is going on inside of us, so let's not blame the other one. But look upon what is going on inside of ourselves and why. We have our amount of free will. Every day we step out of our bed, God-given gift is the free will here on earth. So how you choose to act and react to the people surrounding you, if it's family members, if the guys in the street, if it's the guy who breaks your ribs. <laughs> it happens often for me. Anyhow. <laughs> How you choose to react, it is your free will and it's your lesson and through that free will of lessons you create an outcome. Not only for yourself but also some, uh, as a part of the collective. What we do a lot, and if I look at it now I step down more on a human perception instead of my floaty floaty. What we do a lot is we are judging ourselves and each other. We all not all, but a lot of us believe that we have the only right way to be, <laughs> which couldn't be further from the truth, because we live in a world reality full of perceptions for a reason. We chose that we wanted to learn of each other's uh, differences, so therefore we were never meant to have that one, one ultimate perception, but to have a lot of different perceptions, and within that there will be frictions and development so 
a really really important lesson and something that my brother said earlier today of course is we need to learn to accept each other's perceptions and we doesn't have we don't have to love them i understand there's a long way from from not understanding to love but accept what we don't understand instead of fearing what we do not know so let's just start simple let's start here let's start with i accept what i do not understand i accept people to be what they are and then i take responsibility for what i am then i take responsibility for my gift from god of free will every single day i step out of that door and then i i bring what i believe that i'm here to bring we cannot stop a war by supporting it i am i am a fighter i know it's within every single particle of my my being i even do a lot of boxing because it is so deep within me but what is not deep within me is to harming other people or to hate one side more than another because i understand that it's all a part of the whole what i dislike truly deeply is is this ego thing of of, of will have more will have more and controlling others I, I i don't like that at all but i also know that i cannot win over that within the world <laughs> if I let that control me. So the only way that I can contribute to anything is just being true and honest to my own being and run the miles I have to run, beat the backs I have to back, beat, but be the warrior in the garden and being true to myself, being true to the moments and not let the fear control my world reality i don't hate the one side i don't hate the other side i don't hate any of the people who are involved because we only know what we are conscious about we can't we can't see further than what we are able to see so how can i judge anyone without knowing their full story so lesson number one and let's start here accepting others for the perception that they have and learn to accept ourselves for the who we are so guys i don't even remember what i started talking about and this talk almost got as long as the other one i made so please comment below how this felt for you and um yeah I am open to hear your perception and if you have anything to add, you're always welcome. I hope this can help you a bit uh, along your journey and I will talk with you soon. Doo -doo.